Head Start is a, uh, you know, it used to be that you, people used to say it was a social emotional program and we were babysitting. Head Start's not a babysitting uh, job. It really is where children come and teachers are prepared, they're educated, and they teach children uh, school readiness skills. Our goal is to teach children to be ready to enter kindergarten with all the skills that they need academically, socially, and, and emotionally. So Head Start really is a school readiness program and we're very proud of our program. It's a high quality program and our teachers are wonderful, amazing, uh, and they do prepare children for kindergarten along with parents. Parents are our partners in this. So we also help parents understand uh, the different uh, skills that children will learn and what they will need to learn before they enter kindergarten. P, let's say P. And uh, what's the color of the day? Brown. Brown. Good job, Anthony. You're practicing how to write your name. How do we promote school readiness and what does that mean for us? It means that it's uh, effective everyday practice for our teachers. We like to define it and use an example of a house, uh, a house that represents four integral elements of quality teaching and learning. Engaging everyday interactions with children is one, choosing and implementing a strong curriculum, using regular assessment of children's um, skills and individualized teaching. With these frameworks and with the things that I've just mentioned, these elements correspond respectfully to parts of a house. For example, the foundation and two pillars and a roof. And when connected with one another, they form a single structure that fosters children's learning and development. And that is how we promote school readiness and the example that we give by using the concept of a house. This is the beginning of their life, you know, children, the window of opportunity for children to learn is a zero to five. You know, research shows us that the brain development begins to develop very early in life and so being able to teach these children the academic skills that they need, the cognitive, the literacy, uh, learning how to read, learning how to write starts early in life. There's different stages that they go through. So uh, it's important for children to get these experiences because this is what will help them become long life learners. What we do is we assess every child that enters our program is uh, screened. We want to know where they are developmentally, and what we do is we provide we we meet with the parent and we develop goals for the child throughout the year. We are uh, using the creative curriculum. We use the Hoffman Miffin curriculum. We believe that children have to uh, have the skills in literacy, numeracy, cognitive skills, and so we want them to be lifelong learners, reading, uh, understanding concepts, under understanding sounds, and so all of that is part of what we do if during our circle time. Uh, of course, learning how to get along with each other, uh, being able to use their words and articulate those words, meanings of words, and so our teachers really do work with our children and really do um, focus on the academic skills that they need to be ready for kindergarten. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 27, 28, 29, and... All of our classrooms are well-organized classrooms. They provide uh, consistent schedules. Uh, teachers established uh, routines for children to uh, follow and to understand. They are also uh, sensitive and they provide appropriate guidance as needed uh, to children. And you'll find that our staff work very well together and work as a team. You'll notice in a uh, sense in our classrooms that there is a sense of stability and that uh, teachers are supporting children's learning, that they're allowing children to explore, and that uh, they are every day learning new things. We have over 500 staff. All of our staff are required, our teachers are required to have BA degrees, and our associate teachers are required to be enrolled in school. And so we want to make sure that they are educated and that uh, they are able to teach our children uh, the skills that they need to be able to be ready for school. In our story, the, the traveler has something in his pocket. He has a what? A stone. A stone. 
The most important thing to me as a supervisor is to make sure that I meet the children's needs, that I'm able to support the families, and um, that we accomplish whatever they're needing help with. And of course to work with the children. Head Start is unique because we don't just focus on the child it, themselves, but we focus on the whole family. We want the whole family to be successful. We want the family to be self-sufficient. We want the family to have the opportunities that they would otherwise not have. In other, we're very comprehensive. We provide uh, nutrition services. We provide mental wellness, disabilities. We provide health and, of course, education. We have fatherhood. We have parent engagement. Our parents are involved in our dis decision making of our program, and so they also have uh, they get an opportunity to be involved in policy council. They are able to make decisions uh, on uh, curriculum, whatever it is, but parent involvement is very important to us and they're just a key to our uh, success. My name is Katie Garner. This is my son Brandon's first year in the CAPK Head Start program and we love it. He loves it. I love it. We get to be actively involved in all the decisions that are made as far as his education, what he does, who teaches him, who's around him. Um, where he goes, what he learns. He's had a great time this year. I've had a great time this year. Uh, he's learned so much. His Head Start has mostly impacted his manners. His manners have gone from pretty horrible to impeccable. <laughs> and that's a life skill, I think, that he'll use forever. Um, his education has grown so much. He's learns so many things. Um, he loves his teachers. He loves to learn now. Um, he's excited to go to school. Um, we've just, as a whole family, we've really gained a lot of good life skills and experience from this program, and I think everybody should have this opportunity. Instructional interactions and materials are very important in our classrooms. It's important because we want our classrooms to be designed and well organized. Uh, to promote and support problem solving for children. It's also uh, conversational skills and vocabulary that um, we are able to model for our children. As well, children are allowed to engage in concepts and skills. And along with this, children are um, encouraged to ask questions that encourage math skills um, by encouraging them to analyze and to uh, give reasonings and to problem solve. So all these are um, important skills that are implemented in our classrooms. Children are incredible. They're just these little just you know they're just amazing everything that they know that they learn and you know, it never fails that when you're having a bad day, a child might say something funny. And, you know, when they put that smile on their face and you're smiling because they've said something that has just turned your whole day around. One of the messages that I like to give is that, um, you know, at first I'd like to invite you to visit one of our classrooms. I think it's important that um, they see what happens in our Head Start uh, day, within a Head Start day you know, from the time that the child walks in, from the time that they leave. I think it's important for them to understand that uh, we are partners with them and that we are preparing our children for kindergarten. And so that as we continue to work as partners and they continue to share with us what's important to them and what's important to the families, then we can work together to make sure that our families are successful and that these families are going to be coming into their kindergarten classrooms. Let us be a part of the great learning that takes place in not just our own classrooms, but in the kindergarten classrooms, in the third grade classrooms, in the second grade classrooms. Uh, we want to be a partner with them.